Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Surprise, motherfuckers. We're back. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's just going to be me and Orange Kid tonight. Uh, we are on Argus Desert Gate, and the name of this replay is Epic Shit. And indeed, Epic Shit better be flying, considering the title. Uh, I like to refer to it as insane shit, because it was insane. Uh huh. Anyway, let's see who are the players. It's the Nintendo All Stars: Mario, Luigi, and Waluigi versus Mina M5, Red Habanero, and Original Gollum. Uh, Nintendo All Stars are on top, so therefore they are the blue team, and the other team obviously is red. So we're going to be hearing the Imperial Guard in terms of unit responses, and they just happen to be the Death Corps. The the Death Corps of Krieg, yeah, right? Yeah, so their is going to be muffled. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we are at the five-second mark. Uh, and we're going to get ready to go in three, two, one, and go. You know we're ready. So, we got two Orc players with an Imperial Guard player. A lot of squishiness, I would say. No heavy infantry. Versus the red team, they have a, uh, you know, a solid heavy infantry army in center with, you know, two squishy armies on the flanks. The lad's request. How can anyone resist orcs? They're just the best. I can think of many reasons why. They die a lot. But too fun. Now we've got a chance. That could be fun to listen to, but in the higher tiers, oh, it can get very difficult if you don't know how to Requisition use them properly. Been acquired by our allies. Uh, we have Mario setting up a turret down Victory bottom. Acquired by our mate, sir. Very typical in the opening. The allies have captured a requisition point. And Commando Knob engaging the Sentinel at the start. Sentinel having to pull back. Up north, uh, Orc on, uh, on the Imperial Guard from the Red Team. But he's got support from his Space Marine allies. And here comes Sentinel Stomp up top. Bam. And they're on the retreat. Yeah, that's definitely going to go to Red Set. Look, see? Uh, who's retreating now? That's uh, Waluigi. He's retreating. Now he's leaving his ally all by himself to take on two armies. Yeah, that, that site is lost. It looks like Mario, though, is winning his lane and is uh, consolidating and is starting to push in mid where uh, forces from original Golem are holed up. Yep, the top lane is definitely folding. Uh, and here comes the, the encounter from um, original Golem. That's way too many orcs with a, two commanders there. But Mario's not to be Mario's not gonna retreat without a fight. But. Uh, Blue is kind of in a bad way at start. They lost their gen farm and it's also been decapped. So, definitely not good. Up top, you're coming back. Yeah, Mario's not in a good way right now. Mario's doing what again to hold the line. Trying to delay the having to retreat as much as possible, but yeah, no way you can hold that still. A power node is His now teammates are hands. trying to retake the top lane, but the Imperial Guard are starting to establish a perimeter. <laughs> They've got two uh, multi-laser turrets with a hardy defensive line with some Space Marine support. Could use of those turrets and them behind heavy cover like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, the orcs are kind of pinned there. They need a flank in middle. There's nobody there. They should move that way. It's both orc armies, right? So the generator yeah. is online. Uh, the war boss from Luigi's currently trying to help Cap with bottom, but the uh, original golem. Her weapon now. Uh, original golem is point. scouting with his Their commando knob at the bottom right now. So it's kind of a standoff of standoff up north. Requisition uh, points in trouble. And the Imperial Guard from Mina M5 is digging in. It's only gonna get worse if there there's no way the orcs with their current numbers can take it. And just let them sit back to reinforce like that. Yeah, I, you really should be moving around. So here we go. Yeah, Here's I don't even see Hellfox. Hellfox is Imperial Guard dig digging like that. Yeah, you, you don't see me doing that because I'm a very aggressive commander. I'm a very aggressive defensive commander. No, you're not. You're Chaos Lord. No, I was talking about you. Up north, we have engagement. Red is getting bold and is attacking the northern lane again. Stick grenades! Missed. Mm. Red is investing in tier 1.5 as you can see, especially from Red Habanero. He's got an assault squad and a devastator squad. We're and he bought the iron halo. That's a lot that's quite a bit of power in tier one. Pretty much anything you the require power for space when you rely on tier one. At least in my opinion, I mean. Being called a new turret spammer. <laughs> he spams turrets and he's at the same time. You know it's like 5 power every turret, right? That puts him a little behind in the tech race every time he does it. Yeah, I don't really usually remember the amount of turrets cost because I don't really play in player guard. Yeah. But despite the burning edge. going on up north, uh, they made up for that by investing their power in the bottom lane, which Blue Team has been able to hold. So Nintendo All-Stars, even though their start is not very good, uh, hasn't been very good up top, bottom they've been able to hold and recapture back, and so they still have some power going on there. So as far as staying in the tech race, they're doing a good job of that. The Imperial Guard from Mario was able to get down south and burn Red's power down there. Which is a good move. I mean, if they're gonna just dig up north, flank around. Go and move ship into the other lane and uh, try to make a he some headway there. Reporting tech upgrade complete. But still, VPs are not in Blue Team's favor. The Nintendo so All Stars are down to 271 and dropping. Space Marines and Imperial Guard just forcing both Orc armies back each and every time. Yeah, Ben. Looking at their army numbers, ooh, they're down several squads from Waluigi. I need to learn how to doing that with Hellfox. And that is constantly support you like. Oh, well, I like shift. Yeah, I mean, when Space Marines are supporting the Imperial Guard, they synergize pretty well. ASM just got lured into an ambush. But, pff, that power armor is just taking it. They won't lay off. Our allies have themselves a victory point. Structure under attack. Mario just bought some Ogrens. Upgrading them with the Bonehead. I hate those guys so much. Oh! Oh, we got a clown car to call it here in the middle. Yep. Supported with two shooter squads and a and a weird boy. Oh shit! Sentinel support from the uh, from Mario's Sentinels help helping out, and the Imperial Guard and Space Marines are falling back. Oh, the war about to get shot up. Uh. Luigi's down. Ogren's taking on the fourth commander. 
He is not doing much damage to the ogres at all. He's got to retreat. Oh, it's turning into... Oh, the tank list is opening fire on the Sentinel. Didn't do that much damage, though. Force command is powerful. God, ogres are ridiculous. They're pretty much the Imperial Guard's super heavy infantry, man. So, therefore, they have the stats reflective of that class. You're going to need plasma to take them out. Up north, Devastators and uh, their main defensive units from the guard are still holding that northern side. But it looks like blue team is solidifying their hold in center. And red team is trying to divert resources to protect their top position. And moving some assets center to to keep the VPs from being kept in their lane. Logan's messing up those lanes. Well, they also get messed up too. They can't keep up this attrition. Oh wow! That's a big blob. They may have us here, sir. Weird boy's gonna mess him up. Here comes some stick grenades. And the cheap at oh god. Ouch. Oh, that's a fourth commander from red team is gone. Have an arrow is down. And this is why I don't really hunker down a side. We're because now parts of your army are now stuck in a static position. They can only hold that one side. So even though you're holding the VP, uh, in terms of being mobile and pushing up with the rest of the main force, like you're half, you're down half your army, or at least not as much as you could be bringing to bear on the front. I like what the Space Marine players are just setting up only one unit, which should be the unit up there with the Plasma Death covering uh, the Imperial Guard. Pretty much the only unit you need to have on the defensive position like that. But Red's counterattacks to reclaim middle are just constantly failing. Uh, forces from Mina are having, they're trying to shift from top to mid and trying to get behind them. But the situation is still not good. At this rate, the Nintendo All-Stars will pretty much be able to make a comeback if they can just keep this up. And when we look at power... Flanking in the back there, they're gonna kill the war boss? He's dead. God. Also, there's another thing going on here. You notice Blue has pretty much has a lot of power control right now. They are commanding the power nodes on the map. Understood. Upgrading Jesus. So in terms of power advantage, it's definitely to the Nintendo All-Stars. They are just We're losing. beating them in tech alone. Oh! I had another attack by Red and it is just failing again. They just keep trying to attack it head on and it's just not working. Grenades on those Devastators? Oh. Oh, I missed it. Ogre's charging in! That's Mario Sentinel just went down. Razorback has arrived. Reinforce those fallen marines. Not the other. Ooh. Ah, they'll make it. Ooh. Red is starting to make some headway now that they have a Razorback supporting their push. But so, wait, the why is the Razorback getting ahead of the main force? It's pretty vulnerable. Oh, wait, the commander not with the rocket launcher in that squad is dead. I know, it's like he kills the commander not. Yeah, but still, uh, Blue had three power nodes up for a long time. And it's because so, they stopped harassing the top power node. power node, just trying to keep making attacks, so... In terms of power advantage, definitely it's gone to the All-Stars, and if they... 
If Red wants to win this game, they're gonna have to strike hard get the, and hold the VPs long enough in order to win by time as opposed to winning by, you know. But, on that oh yeah. We definitely have a Manticore on the field in middle. Oh, look at up top. Orcs are charged in. Uh oh. They are charged in, alright. And we're slaughtered. Failed misery. And it looks like the clown car has been destroyed. So the line up top is held. Processing the last request. There. Team Red is holding their own still. It's not over yet. But if this keeps but we obviously have 14 more minutes in this replay, so a victory point is slipping away. Obviously the Nintendo All-Stars are not gonna go out quietly. Rock strike inbound with, <laughs> with Valk Street firebombing on them as well. Oh, Razor back a eats a rock and is dead. Oh no! Oh, god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, middle orcs! They're... Oh shit. Oh wow. Looks like we have a ton of artillery drop on both sides. And it looks like the Orc players from both sides just got smashed pretty hard. Incoming foot! Missed. <laughs> and Red Team is in full retreat now that the tanks have arrived. Tanks have arrived, they also have a wagon that just came out. Oh no. Forced red up the build for now. Right. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> the line up top is well still holding. Here comes more artillery coming in middle. Ah <laughs> Commando now trying to be sneaky oh, and try to take out the tank. Didn't quite get it. Such a lot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Granonov has been found out. He is on the retreat. Oh no! We lost the creep tank. It's going down. Bye bye. Uh oh. Oh! Big shot from the battle wagon. Wow. Original Golems has lost a lot of troops on the field. I mean, when we compare troop numbers, it's still kind of even, but Mina's forces make up the bulk of Red Team's force. And the pedal wagon on the charge. But nothing to show for it. Isn't I learned recently that those that can like instant ki insta kill like lictors or something. Yep. Saw in a replay where I spammed five lictors and they all died to one battle wagon death roller ability. Yeah, that, that was ridiculous. The battle wagon taking fire. Top priority understood. So we're getting the repair bunker up. There. Yep. Stiff bombers are in trouble. Oh, that retreat came way too late. Fire on Original Golems troops are burning! But they survived the fight again. But Original Golem, when you look at his resources, especially his wreck, he is paying. Got, he's bleeding wreck like crazy, reinforcing all the time. And here comes the Assault Terminators from Habanero. Unfortunately, they've just forced to fall back. Yeah, the repair oh, bucket's on oh, line. Oh. These upgrades shall do. Forces up top are about to be engaged. Ouch! Oh shit. Oh wow, yeah, the line up top looks like it's about to be broken, finally! 
I'm just the battle wagon. Oh no, I got the sluggers. Oh! Boom shot! Decimates that heavy weapon squad. Oh man, the line of. Friendly commander and thus, the line has been destroyed up top. The Nintendo All-Stars have a solid shot at being able to come back, provided they don't lose control of the victory points. Got the target in hand, sir. 45 points left for Nintendo All-Stars right now. Victory points acquired by our mates, sir. There goes the repair bunker. Ah, there goes the looted tank due to Manticore. I'm really surprised they haven't taken that out yet. And then again, you know, they're behind a solid wall of orc. They got knobs on knobs in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but one knob is, one squad is cloaked, so they're getting the first few hits in, which can easily matter when it's a, you know, a mirror fight. <laughs> Up north, uh, Blue's forces are about to finally burn the top power farm for Red Team, which has been one of their few uh, power supplies this whole game. Yeah, Guardsmen versus Stormtroopers, that's not a fair contest. Ugh. Enemies to the right! Then Ogrins, and then the artillery on the Ogrins. Oh! Ouch! Ah, oh, but he's gonna lose the Stormtrooper squad. Or not. Nope, it's gonna escape. Well done. Our node is getting away from us. I never have that luck. Scouts and South are reclaiming power again. Sneaky capping. Uh huh. But still, uh, in terms of casualties, uh, Nintendo All Stars have lost a lot of troops. In terms of numbers, uh, Red Habanero and Mina M5 have been beat a little bit. But only Nintendo slightly. All Stars Luigi had like the largest orc army. It's down to like three squads now. Yeah. Yep. We are under attack. Force commander from Red Habanero trying to at least decap the top point. Oh, these. stick grenade on the last the cannon. It's gonna hurt. Ouch. Oh, uh, it's it. oh wow. He shit. He destroyed it. Well. But the commando knob is dead. But that's inconsequential because he can be resurrected. Do you not? Fully reinforce that terminator spot for some reason. I don't think he can afford to at this point. Maybe not. I don't think he can. No, I don't think he can. No. Southern power being decapped by blue again. Friendly commando is returned. Uh, hide the boys and those commandos. I mean, those knobs, I mean. Yeah, but they've been found out and. It's gonna get nasty. And we have forces from uh, oh, EM5 yeah. in middle. And Manticore. Wow. This is turning into a slug fest up there. War boss is down. Oh my goodness. No, I'm just getting smashed up on retreat. Oh, he lost that shooter boy squad. Incoming artillery in the Ogrens again. Ouch. Oh my god, knobs, knobs, and knobs. Well, so what, what else are our players going to spam in tier 3? They're just gonna spam knobs. Some other ridiculously powerful units. Hold your progress. A Bane Blade is coming soon. But while Luigi is certainly uh, turning up the numbers, he's churning out Slugger Boys. And he's using him to help repair his battle wagon. It's quite a lot of fun to, to play an orc player that does nothing Sir, but Slugger spam. It's actually quite fun now. to play against. What makes you say that? I don't know, it's just really fun because you don't expect people to do it. You like, just usually expect stupid ass shit.
shoot us. Hang on. Plasma dev laying down fire on the victory point just in case there are. Be oh man, they've been found out by the shooters. Shooter boys. Frenzy. Yeah, they're invincible. We got a devastator plasma cannon grounding, ground attacking on that BP. Not a better day, but here comes the ah. rock strike. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Amazing. The plasma dev is dead. Direct oh. hit on it. Jesus. Oh no! Now there's it. nothing protecting the points. There's Oh man! Incoming! Ow! Oh! oh, oh, oh. So the Inquisitors yeah. improved further. Mario just dropped the bomb on freaking Mina M5's uh, troops. Oh man! He's still hanging in there with one stormtrooper squad with one guy in it. He needs to get back to base. Same blade has arrived, but the Nintendo All Stars have turned the game around by this point. Uh, the Red Blade saved the day. We will see in the next few minutes. But we as a we have a battle wagon with orc forces guarding the northern victory point. So many orcs and terminators going for it. They're gonna tank the damage. They're gonna. There's knobs there. But... It's really, you know, bad that we're not, we don't have a librarian to support those terminators. I know. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. They're getting focused. Oh no. Wow. Oh ho ho. That is sad day. Oh my god, oh, there's some mana knobs. Commandos, I mean. Where? They're mailing the command knob. I guess it was going up. Ah, more commandos dropping in. Our ally structure is under attack. I think those days on that angle. Oh yeah, it's in a very bad way. There are <laughs> there are not going to beat it up. There's a lemon rust with the, in, with the vanquisher upgrade on it. Oh, artillery coming down. Can the bane blade be saved? Oh no, it's getting doubled. Do something, assault marines. Run, bane blade, run! Artillery inbound. Da, don't blob cap, you fool. Oh, well, where did those knobs come from? It was a trap. Oh, no. Oh, uh, incoming aircraft. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wow. Mario again drops the bomb and just lays waste to all those guys. Even though uh, Luigi... Or, Whoever lost those knobs put them in the perfect position to knock out the main blade, and it was definitely worth it. Artillery on that Lemaros. A little bit of damage. Wow. What a turnaround. The uh, red team has lost Our allies a is lot of troops. And uh, medium 5 and Red Hub and Arrow are kind of out of the fight a little bit down to original golem forces to try to hold any sort of line right now. She's on top, incoming aircraft. Oh! Is it gonna be enough? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we lost one squad there at least. Are you blobbing there, you fool? Ah! Oh, God, you shot. Oh man, we're down to two VPs for red team. If they can't pull it together now, it's over. Reporting but blue forces are taking the last victory point. Rocks on the victory point there. 
Oh. See, even with Mina's even laying down a turret. Plasma dev again. Trying to lay down artillery for support. They're decapping it. And they're also decapping the north. I think this is over, folks. Yeah, they got ogres there just gonna tank the damage. It's a oh, they decat both VPs at the same time, reducing the clock to zero. That's it. Oh, sad day. The Nintendo All Stars are victorious. Uh, they were down like 45 points to their 350 at one point. Yep. Jeez. So much artillery. Well, when you're dealing with blobby armies, you need the artillery to knock out their numbers. Especially when they ma all mass together. And uh, so basically, consensus is, that despite the Nintendo All-Stars losing early game pretty harshly up top, uh, they were able to hold the resource lane in the bottom and stay in the game power-wise. And thus they stayed in the tech race, even though they the uh, red team locked down the northern area. As the game progressed, they were able to slowly turn it around in tier 2 and tier 2.5 up to tier 3 and get ahead in the tech race and thus giving themselves that, that major power advantage. I mean, look at the power difference. We're talking uh, Mario and Waluigi have hundreds of units of power. Luigi maybe used up a lot of power to make his stuff, but, you know, it was money were well spent. He was using that on those knobs that he just kept building. Well, the red team kind of was down to just one power gen many times. Many, many times. So, I mean, that's kind of the drawback of leaving some of your force in that defensive posture uh, up top. I mean, eventually that defensive line, despite your investment, will get broken. You know, I mean, especially if your opponent still has access to power. Yeah, well, when I looked up there when it finally fell, he still had kind of a one point, like a tier one, 1 1.5 force guarding it. He only had like, you know, like Devastators, Sentinels, and like regular Guardsmen guarding it. And then they just kind of came in with battle wagons and knobs and, you know, commando squads to just utterly just decimate it in just seconds. Yeah. Uh, I think they probably invested a little bit too much top, particularly when you've got two victory points to defend in center. So even though, uh, yes, it's important to be able to, you know, hold that one victory point up top, the problem was they couldn't hold middle. And uh, that was kind of a major problem uh, for Red Sea. Yeah, I mean, Mina5, who is holding the top, uh, while he, he, he's pretty good, he's a pretty good player, but... You know, he was trying to, you know, just hold that top, and then when he was trying to help his friends, it was only like his commander and like two, two like uh, stormtrooper squads, and that was it. Yeah, he obviously lost his tier one uh, at early on at some point, and he was reduced to just uh, using stormtrooper squads. But uh, yeah, Ugh. good, good, good game. Good game, nonetheless. Pretty insane. Yep. Uh, yeah, this has been Hellfox and Orange Kid. We will see you next time. Bye.